Hey guys, it's Wes. In today's video, we are going to cover the news that has been circling in Reddit and on Twitter that the B network has been recently removed from the Google Play Store. That is really interesting news. What does that mean for you and for me? There's some things that we know and there's some things that we don't know. I'm gonna cover all of that. You don't wanna miss all of this and so much more coming right up. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining. So my name is Wes Spencer. I'm a technologist, I'm an entrepreneur, and I love cybersecurity and crypto, especially when you combine them both together, which is super cool. We need more of that. So let's talk a little bit about B Network and let's talk about some of the news around them being removed from the Google Play Store. Now they are still in the Apple Store, the iOS Store, which is, I'm an Apple user, so I'm an iOS user. But it's kind of interesting. There's been a lot of things that have happened in this and I wanna cover my thoughts around all of this. So one of the videos that I have coming out really soon, this week or maybe next week, is how I personally vet cryptocurrency projects. Whether it's a token, it's a brand new platform, it's a crypto, it's some kind of exchange, whatever it is. How do I go about vetting and, and determining authenticity and is it worth me covering A, on my channel and B, me investing in? I have some criteria that I like to look at and I'm gonna share just a, a sneak peek of some of that in today's video around B Network. So let me just cut right to the chase. Most of you know, especially when I do a live stream, you guys have asked me, hey, Wes, do you do any other cryptos on the mobile mining side other than Pi Network? And the answer is no, I don't. So I am not a B user and I am not a time stop user. I have pretty significant concerns around both of those and I'm just not willing to take the risk. So keep in mind, I'm pretty risk averse when it comes to data privacy, just because of my background as a security nerd. Uh, but I also think, it's, there's some red flags in both of those platforms that keep me from it. Now, let me say this straight away. I'm not saying that you should not mine B and be involved. If you like it, if it's within your risk tolerances and profiles, by all means, have at it. I'm just sharing why I personally don't like to use B. And I think seeing them get removed from the Play Store is an interesting sort of motivator for where I've been with them for, for all this time. So let's just jump into some of the news to get started with this. So if you look on Twitter, on B's account, and I'm gonna show this to you so you can see this yourself, there's a tweet that they recently produced. And again, I'll put a description link down below for you. But I want to read what they say. They say Google recently removed B Network from the Play Store because it has misunderstood the algorithm of the B Network. Previously, we came across a similar issue with Apple App Store too and tackled it soon. Therefore, we expect to be back on the Play Store soon. Now let's unpack that for just a minute. So that could be all true. It could be some half truths in there or it could all be a complete fabrication. There's just no way for us to vet any of that. And one of the frustrations I have with both iOS and Google Play is when apps are removed, they don't give the public reasons for why it was removed. It's really up to either speculation or if news leaks out in one form or fashion. I really would prefer, if I'm Google for example, I would say, hey, this app has been removed and here are the reasons why we have removed it. Now they'll say that privately to the developers for sure, but you won't get the feedback and the information from Google Play on exactly why it was removed. So it's anybody's guess. Is B Network, is it doing something nefarious that's against the terms of service that Google and iOS have? Maybe, maybe not. Is it truly a misunderstanding of the algorithm? I don't know. I will say this though. I don't even understand what they mean by that. The, the misunderstanding the algorithm. I don't think Google or iOS really care about the algorithm, so to speak. The algorithm is the math. The algorithm is how does the platform actually do what it does? You know, maybe it's just a language barrier issue and I totally understand that because I know that the B Network is not run out of an English speaking country. So that could be a reason, but I will say, I feel like that tweet is very um, dodging. It's not giving us the data that we really need to know about it. And I, don't shoot the messenger. I just think it's it, it, we're not provided enough information to truly vet and understand this. So I would say, while it may be true, I would definitely say without a shadow of a doubt, there are things that are missing out of that tweet that just lack information. And that gets to my number one frustration with 
with B Network and also TimeStop as well, is neither of them are very transparent. And what I mean by that, this was a criticism I had early in the Pi project as well. When I first learned about Pi and started seeing it, I saw that the founders were actually displayed and showed, but I was like, I don't see the founders anywhere talking about this. They're not present. They're not in the app talking about it. I don't see them active in, in, in any place. And that's usually red flag number one. If I can't identify who the founders and creators are, I have an issue. I'm not expecting a founder or creator of a crypto project to necessarily have all the pedigree and, and, and credentials that I, you know, that says they, they've done this for like 10 years and they know what they're about. I'm not looking for that, but I am looking for some transparency. Who are you? What is your message? Are you leading from the front with a vision? I don't see that out of B. I don't see that out of time stop. And that's a huge red flag for me. It doesn't mean that the entire thing is a scam. I'm not saying that, but I am saying a hallmark of many crypto scams is just that. You have no idea who the, the founders are. That is definitely a scary thing. So just be aware of that. That's one of the first failures and red flags that I see within all of this. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about is there are always rumors circulating that B Network is just basically doing data mining. And I do think there's definitely truth to that, right? If you're in the Google Play Store, especially when you would install the B Network, I've seen from many users all the things that you have to enable for this to run, or at least that it requests access to, that's super scary and really sketchy. I mean, look, if Facebook can do all of the dirty things that they do completely legally, you should be very concerned about unknown apps that are asking for all kinds of data from you and you have no idea who they are and why they might need that data. Now, it could be that B is actually a real company. I've seen job hirings for them. I've seen that they actually have a business registration in Hong Kong. So I'm not saying it's not a real company, but I'm just saying I don't trust my data with people that I don't understand who they are. And what I like to do as a security person is limit access to that data as much as I can. I'll never be able to fully limit that. I recognize that in this day and age of cloud, uh, but it is important for us to consider what am I giving up to get something in return. And think about it, any time that you're not paying for a service or some kind of product that you use, that's because you are the product. Take Google, for instance. Let me pick on them for a minute. Think about Gmail. They give me free email. Why do they do that? Oh, it's so nice of them to give me free email. No, <laughs> they're using all of the data that's in there for mining purposes for ad revenue. It's what they do. We all know that. And so that's the service you get out of it. That's why it's free, because I am the product, so to speak. So that's a big thing with, with something like B. You've got to be really careful with it and be very concerned with it. Am I willing to use it when it could potentially be used to, to swallow up some of my data? Now, who knows if that's why Google has taken them out of the App Store, but we do know it's a violation for sure. It's a perceived violation that Google ultimately makes the call on because it's their platform and they ripped them from the service. Now, do I think that B Network will be added back into Google Play Store? Of course I do. I absolutely think they do. So they've still been sitting very happily in iOS's store which means they have a platform that seems to check the boxes that iOS requires. iOS for a long time has been a walled garden. They're much more stringent on what goes into the App Store. How do I know this? Because I've been in this world. I'm a software guy as well. I've built and created multiple software companies. So I know Apple has very stringent rules around privacy, even how cryptocurrency projects work and how payment ecosystems work inside the iOS store. And they put a fine tooth comb through all of those checks and processes. Google Play Store has not always been traditionally so concerned and so um, operating with such scrutiny. We know that historically. And so being pulled from the Google Play Store is definitely uh, pretty egregious in, in, in all likelihood, unless it's some kind of just weird misunderstanding. But what I think is this. So because B is working happily in the iOS store, I think what's going to have to happen for the Google version, the Google Play Store version of B is simply this. They're just going to have to peel back some of those things that they've been requesting and operate much more like how it operates in iOS. And if they do that successfully, successfully, then I think they'll be able to get back into the Google Play Store. So let me just say this all over again. I'm not necessarily a hater on B. It's just not for me. I'm not a user of it. I'm not saying either that I would never use it. And I'm not saying that I would never use it. But right now, I don't trust it. I don't use it. I don't. It's not for me. And so I want to be honest in this. I realize I may get a whole bunch of like thumbs down for this from those that love B. And that's super cool, right? But I just want to share with you my from my influence, from my perspective, why I'm 
not involved in B. I don't know who the founders are. I don't have any look into the credibility of the company and it lacks the transparency that I need to see to have any degree of trust inside of it. Now, if none of that scares you and you're happy to mine and B and know that some of your information is gonna go back to them, have at it, right? If that doesn't bother you, that's your thing, you be you. But this is my main concern, both Time Stop and B and some of the other variants. And so let me just say this, if you're ever thinking about creating an MMC, my advice to you like pre-founders that are thinking about doing the same thing, be transparent. Let people know who you are, let them see your vision, let them see what you're trying to build, put your face out there, put some skin in the game with all of this, because I think that's a really important and needed thing in the world of crypto that we've always had a big, big need for. Okay, guys, there you have it. So that's what I think so far about B Network. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear. I'm sure there's going to be people that will agree and disagree with me. And that is super cool in this channel. I celebrate all of that. So let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, thanks. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.